know who I want next. I want Terrence Crawford next. Uh, we'll beat his ass too. And I tried to keep it cool with Terrence Crawford, but you know, his career ain't doing shit. So obviously once I be spent, if Charlo don't move up, I'm coming for him. Ooh. Hey, Crawford. My dog live in Omaha. I know how Omaha roll. I'm fucking him up. <laughs> I already told him. I'm fucking him up. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? So Floyd Mayweather comes out and says that when Spence Crawford is done, you will hear it from me. He also says that Tank Davis is with them forever. Also, Terrence Bud Crawford responds to Jamal Charlo calling him out hit that like button for your boy give me that hbo special that's to help a brother out special we're on the road to twenty thousand subscribers but floyd tbe money mayweather has a another play fight coming up another expedition match coming up this september against mikuru asukura is an mma star um it's, it's in september this is from rising federation fighting federation um, now, Ryzen is the same promotional company that Tension Ashikawa fights for. So, yeah, they, he's doing work with them once again. I thought his next um, exhibition fight was going to be up in um, Dubai, but it looks like it's going to be up in Japan. So, yeah, Floyd Mayweather is doing that. He also said Tank Davis is with them forever. He loves Tank. Tank loves him, et cetera, et cetera. No, no not nothing like that, okay? Get your mind out the gutter. But... He said that uh, he didn't really want to talk about it too much, but he is, uh, he said Tank Davis is still with Mayweather promotion. So, yeah, um, but he did mention Spence and Crawford, which is most interesting. He mentioned the Spence and Crawford fight. And, yeah, um, Errol Spence said about a week ago, he tweeted, he left, left it really cryptic, but he said that only one person runs his career. Um, most people got the, the idea that he was talking about Floyd Mayweather because, you know, Floyd Mayweather tends to like to play promoter when it comes to these two guys, right? We've seen him in the past telling us, hey, this fight um, is not ready right now. You know, he really likes to play promoter when it comes to Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. comes off and says, I, only, I don't have no promoter. Floyd's don't sign my checks, stuff like that. Um, Terrence Crawford and Floyd Mayweather seem to have a uh, somewhat of a closer relationship, so I'm not quite sure. But yeah, Floyd Mayweather comes out and says, um, in regards to the Errol Spence fight, he says, Errol Spence is a hell of a fighter. Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. I seen, if I'm not mistaken, someone threw out a date or a month. Now, this is what Mayweather is saying, right? Because remember, we seen the article where Fight Hype uh, um, asked him if this is true. And he said, this is not true. Don't post this. So uh, I guess that really was Floyd Mayweather and Fight Hype having a conversation. And then he says, he says, not true. When it's true, y'all will hear from me first or from fight height, right? So he says, if the fight, once the fight is official between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, that you will have to hear from him first or from fight height. Not no ESPN, not nobody else, right? From fight hype. So Floyd's putting his trust at the fight hype to, 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 to give out this, this, this information, right? And Floyd and Ben from fight hype have a good relationship. Anyway, so yeah. Um, then he says, it's, it's so many things that I, I can really talk about, but I'm not going to talk about just because. And I love ESPN. They have boxing writers and they are paying them. Doesn't mean they are right. When you see Fire Height post or you see a text message from me and you see I say this, reported information is not true, said Flamethe. This is no different than when Amir Khan was saying me and Floyd just talked about doing an expedition. That wasn't true. Amir Khan saw me in the lobby of the Armani Hotel in Dubai and he said, get on my video with me. And he was recording when I talked. Next thing you know, he said me and Floyd Mayweather was talking about doing an exhibition, which is not true. So, yeah, Floyd Mayweather say people just say shit just to say shit just because he's Floyd TPE money Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? He says the date and the rules are made there and Asura is expected to be announced in a couple of weeks. So his next fight is expected uh, expect to be announced in the next couple of weeks with Floyd Mayweather and Mikuru Asura, uh, Asukura from Japan, right? MMA star. 
Uh, first, it was a kickboxer. Now he's fighting an MMA fighter. But yeah, Floyd Mayweather said, man, look, this best Crawford thing. Y'all will hear from me first when this thing is done. So it seemed like Floyd Mayweather is taking, like I said before, in my initial video, Floyd Mayweather seemed like he's taking this upon himself to be the promoter for this fight because neither guy has a promoter. Earl Spence, he's not about to be out here promoting this shit. And Terrence Crawford, come on. He don't even like to talk. So, yeah, Floyd Mayweather like, man, I'll step in. And I'll promote this fight. You know what I'm saying? Whether they want to or not. Now, Floyd and Bud got a good relationship, like I said. But um, Floyd and Arrow, uh, it may be a little bit different now, especially since all the boxing legends seem to be favoring Terrence Crawford. So Errol Spence and the Texas crew, they may feel a certain type of way right now about that. And then speaking of the Texas crew, I'm going to segue right to what happened between Jamal Charlo and Terrence Bud Crawford. Jamal Charlo was on the Last Stand podcast, for those who don't know. And he got asked the question by fans. Salute to Brian Custer, man. He asked all the best questions, right? All the best questions, even from the fans. From Twitter, he's not afraid to snatch out the, the tough questions from the fans neither. So salute to Brian Custer. But he asked Jamal Charlo, who is that one guy that you would like to fight? That one guy that fans would be surprised to hear you say. He chooses Terrence Bud Crawford out of everybody in boxing. He chooses Bud Crawford. You know what I noticed, you guys? I noticed this has been a common thing, a trend with these these Texas fighters, right? These Texas boys, there's no slight to Texas. Boys. I love Texas. My mom and them down there in Texas. But why y'all like to fight little dudes, man? Right? Jamel is still a pussy, according to Terrence Bud Crawford. But I noticed when whenever a smaller guy, right? They they really really interested, like Spence and Mikey. Mikey didn't have to do nothing to get that Errol Spence fight. Two weight classes smaller, he had to do nothing to get that fight, right? He had to do nothing to get that fight, you know. Um, Jamal Charlo, oh, I, I want to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. I want to fight Terrence Crawford. That's one guy I want to fight. You know what I'm saying? But Terrence Bud Crawford responds to this, and he says, "At future, he's he's laughing with the laughing emojis." He says, "At future of boxing, you coming down to fight me at 154, bro? I know you would. I believe you too. But your brother's still a pussy." Then he gives the wink. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, he said, "I know your big ass will come on down to fight me." Yeah, I know you would. Yeah, but you won't go up to fight Benavidez and no shit like that, right? Oh, it has to make sense. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh, I get it. But Terrence Bud Crawford said your brother's still a pussy, though. So, yeah, he's still looking for that smoke from Jamel Charlo. And we've seen what Jamel Charlo said when Terrence Crawford's name is brought up. He don't even want to talk about Terrence Crawford. So now Big Bro is mad. However, this energy that Big Bro is pushing off on Terrence Crawford, I would like to see him take that energy to some guys like Demetrius Andrade, and, and, and um david benavidez you know guys that's really looking for jamal charlo's scout you know what i'm saying but hey if if a, i don't know if he was serious or not about the terrence crawford call out jamal charlo is way too big for bud crawford it's kind of funny that he even entertained to call out terrence crawford but his brother jamal jamal charlo is still a is he a still a pussy terrence terrence crawford called jamal charlo he said your brother's still a pussy <laughs> That man fights on ESPN. They oppositions ain't even the same as ours. Crawford don't mean shit in boxing to me right now. He ain't in, the, in my weight division. He's 47, so let him. He can't beat nobody over there. So, um, uh, get Jerry Ennis is a monster. He can't even fuck with him. How you gonna come in and talking about knocking somebody like me? Out? Like, it's whatever. They just do that shit for hype, clout, whatever. I know you say Earl Spence knocks off Crawford, but if Crawford wins and you have a chance to fight him or make case once he moves up, he's gonna win. I don't, I, I'm off of that Crawford guy. Stop asking me about him. Don't nobody ask me about Crawford again. And yeah, and this is why Terrence Bud Crawford called Jamel Charlo a pussy, bro. But yeah, Jamal Charlo, Terrence Bud Crawford, things is getting really interesting between Texas and Omaha. Um, Texas and Nebraska is getting really interesting, right? But first things first, Terrence Bud Crawford has to deal with Errol Spence Jr. But yeah, you guys, Floyd Mayweather says this fight ain't a done deal unless he says so. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.